This week has been a very up and down week for me, both mentally and physically. So, as you probably heard in my last video, if you saw it, that I hurt my lower back again trying to do that last deadlift at my meet. And it wasn't too bad, but then I was going to need to take some time off before I started prepping for nationals. Well, I gave it about a week. Things were feeling really good, and I was pretty confident that I was better. And I got back into things and even started very light. So I was, I was literally com coming in to do like two sets of five at about 70% on squats. So it was like 335. And went to do the first set, and on the third rep, my lower back just it was not good. Like really sharp shooting pain. The middle of the rep, racked it, dropped to my knees, and it was just, that was the worst that I've heard it by far since I've had all these problems. And of course I don't have it on video. I swear every time I hurt myself, I don't have it on video. So maybe I, <laughs> maybe that's the key, video everything, then I won't get hurt. But uh, I'll tell you, when it happened, like, in my mind at that moment, I was done. I was just like, this is it. Like, powerlifting is too much. Plus, I, I think part of it was just because it was so much worse than the other ones, and I figured that the rehab was going to take a lot longer. So, I immediately texted my wife, my coach, Paul, and just was like, I'm, that's it. Hurt my back again. I'm done. Like, no more. And I was just ready to move on. And... You know, I've talked about how I've been thinking about getting into more physique type goals, perhaps taking the stage in physique someday and going through a muscle building stage for a while. But the biggest thing that I was worried about and that I didn't want was I didn't want to do it because I felt like I was quitting powerlifting just because I felt like, well, I can't do it, so I might as well do something else. Like I wanted to actually be excited about it. Well, I had a really good conversation with Paul that day, and you know, ever since I hung up the phone with him, like all I can think of is going through this process and taking like the next year and trying to build a bunch of muscle and perhaps doing a show by the end of the year and trying this new phase of my life. Like I'm really excited about trying to do this. And at that point, I had told myself, okay, like it's just time to move on. Powerlifting is killing me, and you know, quality of life matters to me. It, it does, like, I can't be coming back from injuries all the time. I can't be hurt all the time. And uh, I don't wanna have like my whole future be wrecked because I'm always beating myself into the ground now for, and for what, to be like an average power lifter? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. So at that moment, I was ready to be done and just ready to move on and say, screw nationals. Like, I'll still go, I'll still be there. Um, I've got clients competing at 83 kilogram and 93 kilogram, so I'll, I'll be there regardless. Plus, I just want to go and be around the environment. And it's not like if I give up on powerlifting, I won't still love powerlifting. Like, I think it's awesome. I'll still want to be involved in the scene. I'll, st I'll still help coach people. I'll still, you know, watch a lot of powerlifting material. Like, I, I still really enjoy everything about the sport. It just won't be something that I'm actively doing. But when I took the time to stop and really reflect and really be honest with myself, I, I kind of realized that I was still, I was giving up because I was afraid, like I was scared. And I don't, here's the thing, like, Regret is something that drives me hard, like it really does. And you know, I know it probably sounds cliche, but I mean, it really is a big thing for me. And it drives every big decision I make. And I feel like I have to give nationals a go. Like I have to try, because I feel like I will regret not doing it. Like, I didn't get to do it last year just because I was out for all that time because of my eye and everything was up in the air. So I didn't get to do it last year. So I was all gung-ho about doing it this year and now that's in jeopardy and it just, it does, I just don't know if it's in the cards or not. But I feel like personally I have to give it everything that I have to get there. 
I feel like if I don't at least try, I will regret it. I really feel that way. So, I'm about 90% sure that I'm gonna be switching to physique and, and not doing powerlifting anymore. But instead of getting into it right away, I feel like I need to first do everything that I possibly can to get to nationals and do it this year. I feel like I owe it to myself to push and to try to get there and to experience it at least once. I have not experienced it for myself and I've earned the right to be there. I have to do it. So here's the thing. I, I may not be able to do it, all right? It may not be in the cards for me to do nationals. I, my, my back might not hold up. I might just not be able to go because of it. I, I might not get there, I might not. There's no guarantees that I can compete in eight weeks, but I will be damned if I'm not gonna do it just because I'm afraid or just because I feel like it'll be too hard or I'm, I'll be embarrassed by my total or any other bullshit excuse that I make up in my mind as to why I can't do it or why I don't want to do it. It's all stories that I'm making up in my own mind and I need to push that to the side. I have to do everything that I can in my power to get there. And if it doesn't work out and if I can't do it, at least I know I gave it everything that I had and I can rest easy at night knowing that I tried, all right? If I try and it doesn't happen, fine, I can live with that. But I can't just give up, not do it, and then wander down the road, you know, what would happen if I just didn't give up and tried? So that's where I'm at. My back is getting better. It's, it's surprisingly gotten a lot better given how bad it hurt that first day. I am probably at least a week, maybe two weeks from being able to do any actual squatting or, or deadlifting. I am doing everything that I can right now to prepare myself to be in a better spot when I can. All right, so I'm doing all the work that I possibly can right now to help out. I may show up and I may have the worst total in my powerlifting career, but that's fine. As long as I can get on that platform and do the best that I can with what my body will give me on that day, that is good enough. Then when that is done, that's when I can start pursuing other goals and move on with my life into a different direction and do something that I want to do then. For now, I've got to do this for me. See you there.